August is National Black Business Month, where black-owned businesses are highlighted. So I decided to explore one right here in our backyard. Yum Village is an Afro-Caribbean spot that's celebrating one family's roots and inviting others to try their favorite flavors. All right, happy Tuesday, Tasty Tuesday. How you doing? It may have been a Tuesday when we stopped by Yum Village. Do you like sweet peppers? But at this Afro-Caribbean restaurant on CSU's campus... And what sauce for the chicken today? Every day is tasty. Our food is living up to our name. And for Karsai Ihentugi, food runs in the family. His father even ran a food truck. My dad's Nigerian, so we, we grew up eating all the lovely cuisine that you're going to see today. West African descent. Uh, we have a Caribbean, uh, Jamaican background as well, so pretty much love eating this type of foods. Karsai's brother Godwin took over the family business and opened two brick and mortar locations in the Detroit area. And about eight months ago, Karsai took the concept to Cleveland. We're slowly spreading that word of the young village uh, taste and cuisine. Cuisine that's comprised of a mix of flavors and origins, pulling from the African diaspora to create something that celebrates key cultural dishes like... A goosey, which is made with stockfish, smoked herring fish, and codfish. So it's a fish-based soup, very popular. And then we have another very popular one for vegans. It's called mafe, which is a peanut and tomato vegetable-based soup. These hearty soups paired with a staple of West African dining. Fufu. And fufu uh, is a plantain-based enriched flour that we use. And you pretty much just like a doughy substance that you use to eat with your soups and stews. Uh, so this is something that my dad uh, used to make for us all the time. Yum Village stays true to its Afro-Caribbean roots. Our main ingredient that we uh, grew up eating is Cameroon pepper or alligator pepper. While also appealing to a wider audience. Uh, so we have garlic barbecue, mango curry. Their fast casual curry. style lets diners choose how adventurous they want to be. Uh, so this is, a, I would say, Caribbean vibe to it, but it's more of an Americanized twist. So you can eat some of the concepts that you're familiar with, but make it more palatable for the, um, the average uh, taste palate. Luckily, my palate is always willing to try new things. Can I eat now? I dove into the fufu with my hands, the traditional way of eating it, and dipped it in the mafe. Go all in. Gotta go all in. If I'm here, I'm doing it. This is a great little vehicle to soak everything up. Let me tell you, this is good. Mmm. Then jerk chicken with jollof rice and plantains. It's a winning combo. Flavors that trace the Ihentugi family tree, celebrating each twisting leaf and branch of generations past, the countries that shaped them, and the new ways they continue to grow. Even if you don't speak someone's language, you can speak to them through food. Sharing his unique culture and cuisine with everyone here in Cleveland. All right, appreciate you. Enjoy the rest of this lovely Tuesday, and we'll see you soon. And most definitely. Well, Yum Village also prides itself on providing healthy options that cater to a number of dietary needs, including gluten-free and vegan. And they have halal meats as well. They use things like agave to sweeten dishes rather than sugar, and they don't use butter. So they're really trying to cater to a lot of different palates mm -hmm. there, as you heard, but also, again, staying true to kind of their roots, so the West African cuisine, the Caribbean mm -hmm. cuisine, and it was so tasty, Peyton. So what was your favorite dish? Ooh, um... I think what I was tasting there, the, the fufu. I know, I'm putting you on the spot right now. No, no, I mean, it was all so good. <laughs> I loved the fufu with the mafe. Okay. It was kind of a peanutty stew, uh, but super flavorful. Mm -hmm. And I could see that really, you know, you could put that over rice, mm -hmm. you could eat that with a protein, yeah. like very versatile. Um, but I'm a sucker for a good plantain too. And okay. they had some delicious plantains. Well, and I'm sure folks go into a restaurant like this and they're maybe intimidated by the menu mm -hmm. just because they don't understand what any of it means. Right. And to me, just simply watching and hearing from you in conversation that this gentleman would be happy to sit down and explain oh goodness, exactly yes. what you're having because I think that's half the battle sometimes. Absolutely, yeah. I think people really are genuinely curious. They yeah. want to celebrate other people's cultures. They want to get to know other cuisines. But you're right, it can be intimidating if maybe it's not the food that you grew up mm -hmm. with. So Karsai, I know, because I, I heard him doing exactly what you said mm -hmm. as customers walked in the door while we were there filming yeah. and just explaining, hey, this is what we've got. What do you like? What can I help you with? And I mean, you liked it, so we might oh, as yeah. well go try it out. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Go try it out. It was delicious. You'll <laughs> walk away full, guaranteed. <laughs> All right. Well, still ahead on 